is your 20 minute extreme workout. And trust me, I tell you that this is gonna be a good butt kicking. We are actually gonna stack this with the lower body all in the beginning of the workout, then following by the upper body. So you're going to get a full body workout, but we're really, really gonna pack in the lower body first and then the upper body. So be prepared to feel the burn. You guys ready back there? Consider yourself warned, let's get started. We're gonna start by just releasing that handle slightly and then we're gonna bring it up to chin level and we're gonna do a squat and a knee lift. Here we go. Down, lift, down, lift. We're gonna hold this for 30 seconds. We're jumping right into it. Remember, this is the grit system. So we're gonna gradually increase those intervals by dropping a little bit lower and speeding up a little bit more. Let's go. Up, down, up, down, up, up. Good job, you guys. Five, four, three, two, and one. Other side, here we go. Take it down, up, down, up. Good, nice deep breaths. Take it deeper into the lunge right here. Go down, lift, down, explode, lift. We're not messing around here. This is all about that lower body burn. And lift, lift. I know you guys are feeling it. We're just getting started. This is gonna be a good one. And five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Put those handles down. We're gonna go straight into a repeater lunge. Take it to the other side. Get in that athletic position. Here we go. And knee, knee. Pump those arms. Keep going, guys, keep going. Remember, the best part of these workouts is being able to add in the interval training, increase it as we go by speeding it up or taking it lower into the exercise. We're gonna alternate between the upper body and the lower body. So you're gonna get a full workout. Here we go, three, two, and one. Switch sides, right into it, and go. Nice deep breaths. If you hold your breath, I guarantee your legs will burn out. You need oxygen. Pump it out. You can do anything for 30 seconds. Don't you dare quit on me. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job, you guys. Now we're gonna do a lunge with a glute lift. So let's go ahead and start with that left leg up on the journey gym. It's gonna look like this. You're gonna take it down and lift. Down, lift. Now what I want you to think about here is squeezing that glute to bring the leg up and back. Don't kick it up all out of control. Nice and controlled, core stays tight as you lift and squeeze that glute. We're halfway done. Keep going. And lift, lift. Lift, a couple more you guys, come on, let's go five more. Four, three, two, and one. Woo, you guys feeling that? Yeah, <laughs> okay, let's do the other side. Here we go, take it down, lift, down, lift, down, lift. What I'm looking for is for that knee to hit that 90 degree angle so that she's really bending down and then exploding up really feeling the burn in the quad, which I'm sure you know by now. Here we go. We're almost done, you guys. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. We're gonna let the heart rate come down. Next one is one of my all-time favorites. It's gonna be a three-count squat. Make sure that you tuck this handle underneath your journey gym so that this whole side of your journey gym is clear and go ahead and get the other side ready as well. So handles are under, go ahead and put that foot up on top and we're gonna bounce from one side to the next. Looks like this, we're gonna go down, jump, down, jump, down, up, on. Now we're gonna go backwards, 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 and on, and forward, 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 and on, and back, 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 and on, forward, 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 and on. 
and back. Back, back, and on. How are we doing? Yeah, I love it. Good job, let's do the other side. Step up on the top, and here we go. Take it down. Pivot, pivot, and up. And back, 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 and up, and down. Keep that nice, strong pivot going, and explode off of that grounded leg to get to the next angle. We're halfway done. One more time. Good job, you guys. Awesome. Who's feeling it in their legs? I definitely am. If you guys think we're bionic, let me tell you what. We're not. We're feeling it just as much as you are at home, but do not give up. This is about challenging yourself. Let's get started with the next exercise. We're going to do a really simple footwork here. Catch your breath by just going up, up, down, down with the feet. Here's what it looks like. Up, up, down, down. Starting nice and slow. Get control of the move. Nice motion. And now we're going to hit it. We're going to ramp it up even more. Are you guys ready back there? Let's go. Full speed. Bring those knees up. Really pump those arms and breathe. Stay in control of the exercise, but push it. Dig deeper. I want to see you guys sweat and I want to hear you breathe. We're going a whole minute here and you are halfway done. Don't even think about quitting. I can see you at home. Don't stop. Come on, this is extreme workout. Bring it. Good job. We're almost there, hang with me. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Whew. All right, I know your heart rate's up, and I'm gonna keep it there. Here we go. Jump up, step back. Jump up, step back. Jump up, step back. Take it lower and back, lower and back. One minute, guys. Are you worth it? Are you ready for change? Visualize exactly what you're doing this for. What are your goals? Halfway there. My legs are on fire, and I like it. <laughs> We're almost there. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, get low, 6, plus 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Woo! Wow, how are you guys doing? Doesn't it kind of feel good to burn some calories? It doesn't get on overnight and it's not coming off easy, and that's why we're here. We're gonna work it off. We're gonna do some reverse lunges now. Step on the Journey Gym platform. Breathe deep. We're gonna do some alternating reverse lunges. You ready back there? Punch it out. Here we go. Punch and up. Punch and up. Punch and up. We're going for a minute, you guys. Whole minute. This is where your mind has to be strong. You can do this. You just have to want it bad enough. Harder. Get lower. This is your extreme workout. You've been through all the levels. You put this in your DVD player because clearly you are ready for a challenge. So don't give up. Push yourself through the lower body, then we'll take it to the upper body. You're more than halfway done. Squeeze. Keep it tight, you guys. If it makes you feel any better, know that we're burning right there with you. Misery has company. Go. Let's do five, four, three, two, and one. Rotate. No break. Here we go. 
Take it down. Hand up. Down. Hand up. Down. Hand up. Down. Hand up. Let's go. Hand up. Dig deeper. Lower with the butts. Take it down. Lower. And lower. Good. How are we doing back here? You are not hiding. <laughs> Good job. Perfect form here. I love this. Do you guys see how his hips are kicking back? That is going to be perfect form to avoid injuries in your knees. Superstar team here. Love it. Look how low she brings that butt. Where are your buns? Are you low? Can you do it? Here we go. Take it down. And up. Down. And up. Down. Down. Give me 10. Nine. Speed it up. Here's eight. Up. Seven. Up. Six. Up. Five. Up. Four. Three. Two. And one. That is what I call the grit system right there. Ramping up in the last five seconds. Not bad, huh? Challenging your body, making changes. Now we're gonna bring down the heart rate just a little bit and focus on the outer thigh and the glutes. I want you to think of taking nice deep breaths, get your breath back, and focus on what we're working on. Mind, muscle, connection. Stand sideways, hands on hips, nice tall posture, and we're gonna lift to the side and to the back. To the side and to the back. Now with this exercise, if you don't keep your abs tight, you will not be able to stay balanced. Core is everything. Keep it nice and tight. Squeeze to the side and to the back. To the side and to the back. Something I really want to focus on here, when you bring that leg out to the side, that toe has to be pointed downward so that you are not working your hip flexor. The key is to be working the outer thigh. Point that toe downward. Squeeze. Hold it. Trust me, you're gonna thank me for this when you go to put on your sexiest pair of jeans or that nice tight bikini. That doesn't go for the boys. I don't wanna see any bikinis. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Switch sides. Here we go, straight into it. This is gonna burn. Dig deep, guys. Here we go, starting at the side. Go side and back. Side and back. Side, back. Stay in control. Keep those heads in a nice neutral position. I got a dancer in front of me. She's making me look bad here. <laughs> nice and tight. Here we go for five, four, three, two, and one. Next up, we're gonna do a calf raise. So step up onto your journey gym, grab that handle, and we're gonna just go up onto the toes, all the way up to the ball of your foot, and back down. Here we go. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Squeeze all the way up to the top of that calf, and release. All the way up. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Now this is a little bit of a time here where you can really catch your breath, regroup, a little bit of a breather. I want those calves to burn, but I want your heart rate to also recover before we get ready for the second half of this workout. If you're halfway done, keep going. Woo, I'm sweating. Love it. Focus on your goals, guys. I want visualization. Why are you working out? What are you working towards? Three more. Two and one. Good job. That completes the first half of your extreme workout. Now we're going to go into the upper body. You ready? Let's go. We're gonna start with an overhead shoulder press. Grab those handles. You're gonna deploy them all the way up to your shoulder and then roll them over. We're gonna go over the head. Here we go. Slightly down and lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Now I'm gonna switch it up a little bit and I want alternating. Here we go. Up, down, 
up, down. It's always good just to mix it up a little bit. Let's do two more like this. And back overhead with both. And down, up and down. Exhale as you exert energy, inhale on the way down. You're halfway done, up and down, up and down. Hold it here before we go alternating. Hold it, let's do five more here. Four, three, two, and one. Now back to alternating, go up and down. A minute of these upper body exercises are really gonna burn. You're gonna feel it, but challenge yourself. Don't quit. Let's go three more, two, and one. Good. Handles go down. And I'm gonna keep that burn in your shoulders. We're gonna tap it out with a speed bag motion. Do not bring those arms down. I want the whole minute with those arms up over your head. I know your arms burn. Twist it up. Speed bag them forward, speed bag them backward. Do whatever you need to do to keep those arms up. You can do anything you set your mind to for a minute. If you put those hands down, you're gonna be letting yourself down. I know you can do this. I wanna see those elbows stay high. Up, 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 up. Don't drop them up a little higher. Come on, you guys. Prance it out. Hold them up, hold them up there. Good, you're halfway done. You got this, hold them up. Feel that burn, learn to love it. This is extreme workout, dig deeper and pull. Pull it in, abs are tight, toes are up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job. You're not going to like me, but we're going to take it down to a push-up walk. This is your upper body extreme. You're going to feel it. Down on your hands. Feet are wide, core is tight. You're going to walk the hands out. You're going to do a push-up, then we're going to walk them back. Here we go. Take it down, down, push up, 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 down, down, push up, 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 down, down, push up, 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 down, down, push up. Now when you're doing that push up, think about really exploding. As you come up, explode off the bottom. If you need to, just go to a solid walk, but get your focus. I could do anything right now in front of her and I can feel her focus. I can feel the dedication here. Good job. I know it's hard, you guys. Come on. Give me 10 more. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6 more. 5. You can do it. 4. 3. Give me a little one. Two, and one, woo, wow. You guys feel that? They hate me right now. <laughs> I hope you guys did well with those at home. If not, don't worry about it. You can always work up and get more. I want you to set your goal on doing those for a minute. The next exercise, we're gonna get the heart rate up. Give those shoulders a mini break. We're gonna do a squat thrust. It looks like this. You're gonna go down, shoot the feet out, bring them back in, and stand up. You ready? Let's go. Hands down, feet out, in and up. Down, out, in, up. Down, out, in, up. Really important to remember here not to let that back hyperextend. You'll see here how her butt is completely even. She's not getting a big arch in her back. If you feel it in your lower back, keep the buns a little bit higher and up. And up. Now, I'm gonna challenge you right here. We're more than halfway done. We're gonna add a jump right here. Jump. 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 Come on, you guys. This is your extreme workout. Give me five, four, Three, two, and one. Whew, heart rate's up. Feeling those shoulders in a really big way. Let's mix it up. We're gonna take it down and do a seated row. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of love. 
Take it down on the edge of your dirty gym, placing the feet on the very end. Grab that handle, catch your breath, nice posture, relax the shoulders down away from the head, and we're going to pull straight back, and then we're going to pull up. Then we're going to switch, pull back, and pull up. Now let's speed it up, down and up down and up, down and up, down and up. A whole minute, guys. We're working the back here. Catching your breath. Good job, you guys. You're halfway done. Keep that posture. When you get, start to get tired, your body starts to do funny little things for you. Don't let it. Good posture, good form. We're almost done. Here's 10, nine, eight, seven more, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent job. Put those handles back, back up on your feet, and we're gonna work a little bit of the calves here. This one's gonna surprise you. I want one foot on, we're gonna do little pulses. One minute, here we go. Pulse up and down. Starts off real easy, and then all of a sudden you start to feel those quads burn, and the calves too. The big secret with this one is making sure you're not stomping that back foot. The hips come straight up and down, you're gonna be pushing off the quad here while working the calf in that back foot. Starting to burn yet? Woo! I'm not gonna deny it, I feel it. Nice little pulses. Keep going, halfway done. Nice deep breaths, little pulses. Feeling it in the calf and the quads. This is the cardio portion. We're mixing it up. I'm going to keep your heart rate up, regardless of whether you're working lower body or upper body. Because when you're going for 20 minutes, we need to burn calories. Along with your proper nutrition plan, that is how you get results. And switch those legs straight into it. Straight into that switch. If you blinked, you might have missed it. Make sure you're on the other leg. Deep pulses. One minute, right here. Keep going. It's a little bit surprising how this one gets to you. Nice deep breaths. Another really important factor is making sure that you stay hydrated. If you're dehydrated one bit during these workouts, you will feel the difference. So you always wanna make sure that you're drinking plenty of water throughout the day. About 96 ounces or eight large glasses. We're more than halfway done. Stick with it. This is your little breather break. Almost done, four, three, two, and one. Good job, stretch those calves out. Really feel that in your calves, it's a great exercise. Even though it looks a little bit easy to begin with, you definitely feel it pretty quick. Next is gonna be the cross pull. Stand on the journey gym, grab that handle, and we're just gonna bring it up and across your body. Cross over, and now count down. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Other side. Here we go. Bring it up and down, up and down. Last five, four, three, Two and one. Now we're gonna finish this workout nice and strong with a chest press. So cross over to the front of your journey gym. Your shoulder blades are gonna be placed on the journey gym. 
And I want you to bring your tailbones up off the floor and tighten those glutes. You're gonna bring those hands in so both arms are at a 90 degree angle. And we're gonna push up and down, up and down. Squeeze those chest muscles as you bring the arms together at the top of the exercise. You exhale and inhale, exhale, inhale. Keep those buns up off the floor and really squeeze the arms together at the top. We're halfway done. You guys are doing great. And five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, I lied. We got one more exercise. You guys really didn't think I was gonna let you finish without an ab exercise, did you? We're gonna take it to a V set. So, I want you guys right here on the edge. We're gonna bring those feet up, find that sweet spot and I just want you to hold it. Hold it here. Hold it, breathe. Relax the shoulders down away from the ears. Now I want you to flatten out your body as you extend your legs, bringing them open and close. Open and close for 10, nine, Last four. Two more. And one. Good job, you guys. I think they were expecting more behind me. Okay, that is your extreme workout. Make sure that you continue to work out at least every other day and use the Journey Gym Nutrition Guide and enjoy the journey as you get healthy.